Many thanks to Jérôme sure. Lallier for, <laughs> for giving us a short statement on some uh -huh. questions. Is the altruistic idea of the Internet, is that dead? Well, the problem... I was perhaps a creator of this altruism when I was younger. Uh, it, in a way, it should be dead. The Internet should be a tool that we attempt to improve in a way that's somewhat dispassionate, like any other technology. It should be like making a better road or a better air traffic control system. I kind of regret the idealism now. I feel that there are too many people interested in the Internet who are too ideological, and you'll have certain ideas like, oh, I don't know, open source or, or something that become causes in, in their own without any consideration for ultimately strange and surprising side effects. It, 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 the idealism has taken off on its own and has become impractical in many cases. Yeah. And uh, is the Internet and the digitization the solution of all our problems or our downfall? Um, to the degree you believe that digital technology does anything by itself, then it has failed you. Uh, everything is still done by people and only human responsibility can have any effect, whether positive or negative. So, um, unfortunately, that means that those who believe in technology the most are using it the worst. <laughs> That's a good, uh, good statement, but it's uh, mm -hmm. making us uh, feel a bit frustrated of what might come. So what is the biggest threat, greedy man or the intelligent machine? There's no such thing as an intelligent machine. That's a, a fantasy. Uh, that's used to manipulate people who will then accept direction from the machine. Um, it's not so much that people are greedy. Oh, there might be a few. My sense is that the current generation of entrepreneurs who are running digital technology are for the most part not really money motivated. They might enjoy power and influence. Um, they might enjoy social status, but not particularly money. Um, I think the problem is more that we all fool ourselves, whether it's the elite or not. I think we all tend to believe that the technology will somehow do something for us when ultimately it's only our own responsibility and very, very difficult politics and compromise that can create any betterment. Mm -hmm. And um, what is the stronger feeling, being proud of what uh, you having predicted all these already 30 years ago or being worried <laughs> of the way the well, future will go. I, I'm still very much an optimist in the big picture, and I always want to be wrong when I'm pessimistic. So I don't know about pride. I mean, I'm kind of proud that people like virtual reality again. That's nice. I like that, that it's come back into, into, uh, into the culture. Um, but there's very little room for pride. We have so much work to do, you know?